Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel of 333. We're going to do your love reading today. Uh, please remember that this reading may not resonate with all of you out there. Uh, so just take the messages that do. I do do the love readings every week because the energy can change. Uh, I do offer an extended reading which is below. I'll look at uh, what your person is thinking and feeling about you their upcoming actions and love messages and guidance i will also explore new love if the energy uh doesn't feel uh, like it's moving or moving in a good direction or i see new love popping up in the reading so everything else is in the description box if you want to uh, check out your other signs there is a playlist link below if you're new to my channel, I do do a monthly giveaway where I give away free readings each month. So details are below if you'd like to enter. Uh, and let's get started with your reading, Pisces. I hope everyone is well and healthy and safe. And we're going to pull some Romance Angel cards to start your reading. So let's get some cards for Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? All right. Okay, Pisces, what's going on here? Okay. Bottom of the deck, interesting. Bottom of the deck here, you have a wedding. The situation involves marriage. All right. So some of you could be married to this person. Maybe you were married to this person. Some of you uh, see this person as somebody that you definitely could have some sort of long-term relationship with or uh, be married to. You have the unrecorded love card. Okay, so right off the bat, I get an energy here, but you may be feeling rejected um, by somebody or you may be feeling, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Or you may be feeling that somebody is not returning, uh, you know, the love that you are giving to them. Now you have here um, finances and career as well. So you may be dealing with somebody who's very focused on money right now or their career. This could be somebody too who could um, have a bit of ego. Okay, maybe, um, like I said, their attention is more focused on the material. Uh, type of energy here. This could also be somebody that you work with as well. But you have soulmate energy. So I do feel like this person is in your life for a reason. I feel there's a strong connection between you and this person. So let's pull some cards to see what additional messages come out for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces? All right, first card out, you have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Swords. You have the Temperance card. You have the Seven of Wands. You have the Three of Swords. And you have the devil card and bottom of the deck here, you have the tower. All right. So I'm definitely getting with this tower energy. I feel there's a, an, an energy here of a broken foundation, maybe broken trust. I feel uh, an energy here where there was divine intervention because something just was not working right. And it feels like... Uh, as I said, there was not a return of the same love or effort I feel that you may have been putting in the connection or the relationship. Now, remember, roles can always be reversed. If it resonates better the other way, then take it, okay? And I get here with this two of wands. I feel um, it has led to you to a place where you're at this crossroads trying to make some sort of uh, decision. Okay, but, you know, I do sense that, um, you know, in this deck, this person's holding both rods. So it's definitely a decision, right? Sometimes I see it as you may still feel attached to this person and you may very well be. Some of you may actually be married to this person as well or in a commitment. But you have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Seven of Wands. 
So, you know, definitely an energy here, this unrecorded love. I'm getting there is not equal effort in the situation. You may feel rejected by this person. Uh, I also see this card as, as an energy where you're very unsure about somebody. You're very unsure about their intentions, right? Uh, with this Knight of Pentacles, I do feel like it's a very uh, a slow-moving energy. Okay, uh, I almost feel here like there is a block. There's some sort of challenge that is blocking the connection between you and this person. Whether it's this person who's very defensive, very guarded. As I said, uh, you know, maybe their uh, attention is on their career and their finances. But there is definitely something here that is blocking things from moving forward between you and this person. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or you could be dealing uh, with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You have the Queen of Swords and you have the Three of Swords. Okay. I'm also getting the energy too, Pisces, that you just may be also very focused on your money, very focused on your career doing what is good for you here with the Queen of Swords energy. I get um, that you have taken the approach to really do what's best for you in the situation because I do feel like there's an energy here where you gave to the situation in the past, right? Um, be, and, and this person was not uh, returning uh, the same energy to you. And I feel like this you know, definitely made you feel heartbroken Okay, it was very painful. I do feel like you're trying to heal from this, right? And uh, you may even have blocked this person as well. Now you have the Temperance card, you have uh, Strong Sagittarius, and you have the Devil, which is Strong Capricorn. And if I didn't say it already, we also have uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. <clears throat> so the Temperance and the Devil. Okay, and you have the soulmate card. There's no doubt that there's a very strong connection between you and this per person. Um, but I also get that there is some sort of something that needs to be healed in this connection, something that's unhealthy. You know, it could be negative energies, toxic energies. Uh, but there's definitely an energy of uh, something here that is not working, right? That's why this tower moment happened, right? It was imbalanced uh, and, you know, things had to change, right? Things may have come to a head between you and this person. There may have been some sort of blow up here. Now, with this devil card here, too, I get the energy that, you know, this may be somebody that you have a hard time resisting, right? This may be somebody that, um, you know, you definitely have a very strong uh, connection with. But like I said, you know, it, there's definitely some uh, could be a toxic energy here as well. So I'm going to pull some some clarity cards see what additional messages we get here for you there's also an energy here of timing okay there may be some sort of patience that's needed in the situation thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what other clarity can you give pisces uh, in their situation right you have the page of cups you have the ten of wands Look at that. And you have the lover's card bottom of the deck here. You have the ace of pentacles. Interesting, interesting. I feel there's some sort of, of new offer coming in for you. Something that's going to be more stable. Some of you, I feel like you could move on from this person here. All right. Um... Some of you could live at a distance from this person as well. You have the Page of Cups, you have the Ten of Wands, and you have the Lover's card. I'm really getting with this energy. I feel there is somebody here that you may still have a very strong attachment to, right? Uh, a situation that hasn't been moving forward. Somebody who hasn't been giving the time and energy that you have in the connection. I feel like this is very burdensome for, for you. I feel like there's a possibility here with this Page of Cups that a new person is coming in for you, 
right? Uh, you may decide to move on, I feel, from this connection to something more stable uh, with this Ace of Pentacles. And, you know, the energy with this person just may be too heavy for you, okay? And you've realized now that you need to take care of yourself and move on, right? But for others, this can also be a choice between two loves. As I do sense here with this devil card that, that this person is going to return, whoever this is here, this unrequited love. And you may have a choice between two. And you may struggle with this choice here. But I do see there's an opportunity for new love. Okay, I'm going to pull a few more cards. Thank you, angels. And, oh, there's uh, the death card, Scorpio energy. What else can you tell Pisces about this situation? There we go. The Hierophant... Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you could be married to this person, right? Or in a relationship or, you know, it was a relationship that actually, you know, never really happened. That never, I mean, not that it didn't happen, but it didn't go where you wanted to. And look at here, you have the moon card, your energy. Yeah, I feel like this may be somebody too who doesn't have the same values or beliefs that you do. And you have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it feels like an energy here. You've been waiting for this person. Things haven't moved uh, too quickly with this person. And you have the, the Death card, the Hierophant, and the Moon card. You've got strong Taurus energy. You've got your energy here. Scorpio energy. Yeah. This is somebody I feel... Um, you know, a couple things, right? If you're in a marriage, this is somebody you do have a lot of feelings and emotions for. And um, a, a, a situation where I do feel like you're feeling beat up in your situation, there's definitely sadness, there's definitely disappointment here. And, you know, I get that you may be feeling very emotional at this time. And I do see here a transformation Okay, but I'm also getting, uh, and, and the transformation is within you, regardless of what decisions you try, you make here in the marriage. But I feel that if this is somebody here who things quite never went to commitment, right? It may have been somebody who, you know, made it seem like it was something that it wasn't. And that's the energy I'm getting from this person here. So this person, you know, I do feel like they're going to come around again. I do feel like uh, they are going to be a temptation for you. Okay, I feel, you know, they know, they know that you have a strong connection with them. But uh, I do sense that there is somebody else coming in as well, a new person. And you may have a choice between two people. Or there may have been a new person that has come along whether you're married or not, that it has made you realize um, things within this connection. So let's pull some guidance cards here for you. Look at that unfinished symphony. Yeah, there's some sort of clarity here that you're needing in the situation. I feel a cycle is about to close. A burden is going to be released here. So this may be a, I'm just going to say a marriage, or it can be a connection here where it's just like an on and off situation. It never gets to um, a place where you can feel stable and secure. You know, um, maybe some of you are waiting for actual marriage. Look at that fork in the road. Yes, I do see here. You're trying to make that decision. You're trying to uh, get to a place where you know which path to take for your own stability. And look at that, come to the edge. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you may decide to move on from this connection. Like I said, just doing what's good for your soul. <coughs> Excuse me. Being in a place where, you know, you can feel a lot lighter, free from these burdens here, okay? Even though you don't know what's ahead, but this is a new beginning, taking that leap of faith. And look at that. You have message in a bottle on the bottom of the deck. There is some sort of message coming through here with the Page of Cups. Now, whether this is the person that you are dealing with or this is a new person coming in, 
Uh, but I do feel like there is some sort of message uh, that you've been waiting for, okay? This can be an energy of somebody waiting for something here, feeling beat up. And look here, it's the two of cups. So some of you may be waiting for new love to show up, or maybe there's already somebody around you who's been flirting and interested. There is a message coming through, but this can be this other person that I am seeing here coming back around. I'm just not too sure about uh, their intentions here. So Pisces, I'm going to take this to the extended um, we'll look at uh, how this person here is thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions. We'll do uh, some love messages and guidance. And uh, we'll also look at new love as well, okay, to try and compare the decisions here. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I hope to see you on the extended. And I'm sending you angel love.